What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Reeboks Monday. I uh, hope everybody's good. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. Oh, I'm just going to move the box up there. Yeah, as you can see, I've got quite a few little goodies in here this week. Uh, not really too much, but some pretty cool stuff. And I do have something really awesome off to the side here also, which we'll get to at the end. Uh, but yeah, I uh, found some pretty uh, good cars here. Very happy to have this. And I'll be able to tell you a little story about this uh, set as well when we get into it. But first, Firstly, actually, I'm going to say, how is everybody? How are you all? Uh, yeah, as I said, I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, it was a pretty uh, quiet week this week, but we did find a couple of good little items, starting with the Renault Kangoo, and this one here is in the Shell livery. Pretty awesome. Yeah, we'll crack this guy open, and we'll see what we get. All right. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, that actually looks really nice. Unit 125 on the back there. It has the shell, shell, <laughs> uh, and the yellow and red stripes. Little chrome hubcaps on the wheels. Uh, very, very dark window on that. I can't see into that at all. There is a possibility that that is just a black plastic piece rather than a natural window um, yeah very very dark window around the front no headlight details or badging details but you can see in the casting it does have the Renault badge in the center big plastic bumper on the front there and the same livery on this side or has also has an indicator there yeah and uh, no rear details either but once again uh, not a bad looking little car. I do quite enjoy these uh, petrol liveries. Uh, the P Petroliana, I do believe it's called, where they collect all the petrol and oil company stuff. So I do quite like having the Shell livery on the side of it. Yeah, pretty cool. And I think we'll just go straight for the next one. Yes, we have another 1984 Toyota MR2. Um, just give me one second. Let me just grab this. This box is kind of overflowing now, but I've got a whole bunch of matchbox cars in here. Some of these are going to be going into the prize packs, just so you guys know. Um, those prizes when you enter the competition. Which reminds me, you have one week to get your entries in for the 2000 subscriber competition. Make sure you go and check out the video uh, and uh, put your put the keyword in the video. All right, we have two matchboxes here. Let me just get that out of the way. Uh, we're gonna grab these guys here out also because there are four variations of this casting. So we're gonna grab one out. And this one here is the headlights down position. And this is the left hand drive. And there's also a right hand drive version as well with the uh, headlights down. Plus there is a uh, left hand and right hand version of the headlights in the up position. So here we go, we have a left hand drive, headlights down. I'm trying to get all four variations, so bear with me. <laughs> And this one here is left-hand drive with the headlights in the up position. So that is absolutely awesome to have two variations so far. And now we have number three, see if we can get the right-hand drive versions because those are the ones that I really, really would want. All right, what do we have? Get the box up there. We have headlights down, and this one here is also left-hand drive. So this one here will be added into one of the prize boxes. Uh, I do not know which prize box, and neither will anybody until they get it in the <laughs> in the post. So remember, one one more week, guys, to get your entries in for the 2,000 subscriber competition. In that video, you will be able to see the major prizes that are going to be in there. 
Plus there's going to be a whole bunch of open stuff like this also in there too. So uh, yeah, because now that's a double, I'll be able to pass that on to somebody who uh, possibly would like it. Plus I've got a whole bunch of other ones here. These ones here, Mercedes-Benz wagon, plus we have the Tesla Roadster. Those will be going into them because these are unopened and I've already opened my ones. So let me just... <laughs> so many boxes, so much rubbish. All right, I'll clean all that up later. All right, <laughs> all right, let's just go straight through this. Another Matchbox from TK Maxx. Uh, this one here is a Hitch and Haul rescue kind of one with an ambulance and a fire truck. It's actually really, really cool. Hazmat response, very nice. That is awesome. I believe this is a plastic body with a metal base. And uh, this one here appears to have a metal cab with a plastic rear and a plastic base by the looks of it. This one here has the metal base. But either way, yeah, <laughs> don't play with matches. <laughs> that is really, really awesome. Really, really nicely done. I do quite like this pack. I'm glad I was actually able to find this one. Uh, I do have a couple of other ones. I also picked up one more of these because it was there and I picked it up. I've got two of these now, so um, yeah. Uh, if you guys want me to open them up for a, an episode, let me know because I, as, I, as you guys know, when I have two of something, I generally uh, open it up for you guys. This is the one I'd like to find. That's really, really cool. It's the Jeep Wagoneer, I believe, with the horse, cowboy, and the uh, horse float as well. And there you go, there you can see the, the sign there, don't play with matches, play with matchbox. <laughs> yeah, pretty awesome. That was really nice as well. I wouldn't mind finding that one too. Yeah, not a bad little collection of cars, the Hitch and Hall series. There we go. All right, let's go. Actually, we'll do these ones first. We'll do these ones first. Because you guys already have already seen what those ones are. But uh, yes, I was able to find some Jurassic World Dominion cars. I uh, liked the Jurassic Park movie. Uh, the original a couple of them after that were okay but some of them were absolutely terrible i have not seen the dominion one so can't say anything bad about that but right here we have number 18 and i'm just looking to see uh, give me one second is that the same one? Oh, that's t number 29 so we have number 18 Number 29, this one's from the old Jurassic World set, plus I've also got... Oh. Sorry, I'm just trying to grab them off the wall. <laughs> I've literally got... Uh, just let me just... Uh, we'll just do this. Up there you can see this is where I generally keep my matchboxes, and up here we have the uh, Jurassic Park stuff. So, yeah. Plus some pretty cool cars, these ones here. I'm, I'm just place holding those until they can go to their proper collection. But I always keep them on display because, well, they're awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so as you can see, I've got a little bit of a wall of cars up the top there as well. So what have we got? Here we go. Here's number 18. I knew I had seen number 18 before. Uh, plus I've also got this version so you can see these are the other variations here. And number 18, I just wanted to do a comparison to see if they are exactly the same. They're not exactly the same. Uh, this one here has more of a, kind of like a sandy kind of color to it, where this one here is more of a, a silver tone. So they're not exactly the same, which is very nice to see. And there we go. Yeah, always fun to do a little comparison of stuff like that. And there you go, it's got that red window, JP18 on the front there, red wheels. Awesome, awesome. 
All right, plus we have also got, actually we can do a, we can do a comparison of this one as well. There we go, grab that one. Here we have a dirty version. <laughs> so this is the previous version from Jurassic World. Nice dirty version of the Ford X93 Ford Explorer number four. Bit dusty on the top there. So uh, just ignore all the dust that's there because they've been sitting up there for a couple of years. So yeah, we'll have to go over and give them a clean. I think that does look pretty bad to be honest. <laughs> all right, and here's the new one. Pretty cool card art. This one here is number five, whereas the other one was number four. Yeah, pretty awesome. Same car, just a clean version. Very nice. Looks exactly the same, basically. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice looking little car, that one. <laughs> awesome. And the last one that I was able to find is the Mercedes-Benz G650. And do we have a G650 up there? Yes, we do. Here's a G650. This one here is a silver one. You see that for official use only. Basic car, not really too much on it except for that stripe and that little Mercedes badge on the back. Still pretty cool. But this is the new version, which looks really, really nice. It is essentially the same car with the same design on it, it's just different colours. This one has the black stripe as opposed to the blue stripe. Still has that black stripe along that kind of like body line there, that trim line. Same style wheels. A bit dark to see in there, but it still has that big bull bar on the front there. There's a little bit of an indicator you can't see there. Nothing on the roof. And once again, we get a little Mercedes badge on the back of the spare wheel cover. Awesome. All right, <laughs> now that we've got those out of the way, those are a lot cooler than I was expecting. It's always nice to get some good variations of that sort of stuff. All right, next up we have, yes, this is the Happy Halloween set from 2021. So one year old now, and it is almost Halloween again. So I'm gonna open these for Halloween, I think. Uh, pretty nice looking card art, it's the Day of the Dead set, or Dios de los Muertos, I think. Forgive me if I'm wrong or if I pronounce that horribly. Uh, but really, really cool card art. And this one here is the 33 Ford Lowboy. Has the skull wheels in a nice red. Really cool uh, paintwork on the side there. All the roses, the skull, has the Halloween symbol just there. Really nice olive green metallic color, red interior. Well, it's kind of like a purpley pink kind of interior actually. But other than that, really, really nice. And there is that whole set there, so that is really awesome. Um, let me just move some of this stuff out of the way. All right, pop that there. I was going to tell you a little story about these. Um, I found these uh, well over, like, I don't know, not even a year ago, maybe like eight months ago, I found these in a store. Um, and they were trying to ask $6 for each car. Yes, that's right. They were trying to ask $6 for what's basically a $2 mainline car, but in these theme series, they're generally $4 in the majority of stores. But they were trying to ask $6 and I'm just like, why are you trying to ask so much for them? Like, they're literally like half that price in other stores. And they're like, well, we sell them. And the lady was incredibly rude. And I will never go back to that store again. And it's just that simple. So, yeah. Nice to finally get this set. And I picked this set here up from uh, the Reject shop. If you've got a Reject shop near you, Hopefully they've got them in there as well. Um, I don't know how many countries have the reject shop, but for all my Aussie subscribers, go check out your reject shop. 
and you'll hopefully be able to find this set as well. And they're only $3.50 each. Yes, $3.50. <laughs> Almost half the price of what that other shop was asking for. Um, yeah, I'm kind of rambling on at the moment, but I'm just really happy about this set. I'm glad to have finally gotten it for a reasonable price because at $6, there was no way I was buying them. And that was just really unfair for anybody that actually paid that price for them. Uh, but here we have the 14, 2014 Corvette Stingray, nice metallic red. You get all those really cool looking skulls on the side, that really nice paint job, colorful paint job all over it. This one has uh, purple, not they look blue on camera, but they are actually purple skull wheels. Has the yellow interior, uh, the yellow window and a purple interior. Very, very nice. Next up, we have the 2016 Camaro SS. Nice metallic purple. This one here has the really nice, kind of like a copper colored skull wheel. Uh, similar pattern to the Corvette, but uh, just a really, really nice co uh, color version of this one here. It's got the flowers on there as well. Little Halloween logo on the back there. Such awesome, awesome looking cars. Bright orange window is not really a favorite, but I guess because they're Halloween cars, I'll accept that. And uh, no light details or anything like that on the front or the rear, but a really, really cool side artwork. Love that. Uh, next up, we have the 1971 Maverick Grabber, and this one's got a pattern all over the side and over the roof, bonnet and boot has a dark gray wheel or dark gray tire with a black skull wheel. Has a gray insert for the grill and a chrome bumper. Wow, that is really nice. You can see the pattern on there is really nice as well with kind of just like the eyes for the skulls there, some flowers on the bottom. Nice little bit of pinstripe work on the bonnet there, that looks so cool. How cool does that look there? Really nice, over the roof as well, and over the bonnet. That is absolutely awesome. This is a really, really nicely done car. And on the back we have that gray panel for the rear light bezel area, and the chrome bumpers. Awesome, and it has that chrome, or not chrome, our silver interior inside. Uh, I'm running out of places to put these things. There we go. <laughs> All right, next up, the last car is the King Cuda. This has the white tires with the black skull wheels. Very, very nice matte black color with that white skull paintwork. Really nice flower paintwork there. They've put a lot of time and effort into the design of these cars and these look fantastic. Chrome grill and bumper, chrome engine sticking out of the engine bay with no bonnet, uh, chrome interior, and that chrome rear bumper section as well. That is so awesome. That is absolutely incredible. So yeah, there you go guys. That is the, uh, let me just stand those up. That's the 2021, um, Halloween set. So yeah, do you want to open this one here up for Halloween or just open it up whenever? Uh, put it in the comments below. So <laughs> I reckon that's really cool. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do it for Halloween anyway. I'm just going to do it for Halloween. Just because it looks absolutely awesome. Oh, I'm just dropping the last couple of items. All right, there we go. Um, I do have a whole bunch of items, so I'm going to do the single item first. And the last items are kind of just like a, uh, kind of like just four of, of a s similar item. Um, yeah, as you guys know, I absolutely love micro machines. And uh, when the new micro machines came out, they came out with a whole bunch of just generic rubbish cars and I had no interest in buying any of them at all. And then I found a Bugatti set. And it was, you gotta be kidding me. It's absolutely awesome. And not only, uh, is it awesome? I got the uh, the Rare Chase. 
of the Bugatti, the rare Bugatti Type 35 and a nice chrome finish. Wow. Now it's got the red Bugatti badge on the front there also. So nice. And then we've got the Bugatti EV110 Super Sport there. And the Bugatti Devo. How cool is that? Yes. Um, I'm not going to be opening this one here up unless I find another set. Uh, but yeah, uh, these were, what was it, $16 or something like that. So they're not exactly cheap for what they are. Uh, Bugatti Heritage set. So yeah, um, if it didn't have a Chase version, I probably still would have bought it. But when I found the, uh, this pack, there was a Chase sitting right there in front of me. So obviously I'm going to buy this one first. Not entirely sure what color the car was supposed to be, but I think this silver really suits this era of car. That looks really nice. And we get the other Bugattis on the card art there. And here we have, there we go, the Bugatti Heritage. Ah, so it's supposed to be blue. Well, I'm glad I got the silver one. Uh, there's the generic cars, more generic cars, and more generic cars. So yeah, uh, now that they've come out with the actual licensed vehicles, I will be probably be buying a couple more of these packs. And uh, I won't be opening them. These will just be purely because of my nostalgia for them. Um, <laughs> Let me just uh, show you, let me just show you. You've seen a few of my micro machines before. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've got this big box here, full and full of micro machines. I've got to put those other ones from those last previous few episodes into here as well. Actually, to be honest, I, I should really get some little bags for these. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I might actually get some little bags for those instead. Uh, put them away properly but yeah because I, I love these guys so much I was not going to pass up an actual like licensed vehicle Bugatti set with a chase absolutely incredible chuck that guy up there and the last couple of items for today <laughs> we have four of these and you know what's best uh, in the previous episode which we had um, I'm not entirely sure where I've put it, I think. Um, we had the new range of these cars, but these four are actually the previous range, which gives you these cars, which have the special black and gold 50th anniversary cars. So I am trying to get myself these once again. These were a great little find, the world's smallest Hot Wheels. I uh, picked these up for $5 rather than their usual $10, which they normally cost. $10 for one of these is far too expensive. Try and open this if we can. All right, first one. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, when I was opening these up before, I found this one here already. So this one will definitely be going into one of the prize boxes. And there we go, that's the twin mill in a nice little fake card. You can open the back there to get them out. And they are an awesome little key ring as well. So yeah, really, really cool. What else we got? Try and do this as fast as possible. Oh yes, I didn't get this one before. This is the Bone Shaker. Wow, that is nice. Got the silver side pipe, the white skull on the side there. And it's an open roof version. Has a pretty terrible looking front skull on the front there. But we all know what the car kind of looks like, so it kind of doesn't really matter. It would be nice to get an actual proper skull for the front of the bone shaker like it normally does have. Pop that guy down there. Come on, let's get one of those black and gold 50th anniversary cars. That's what I'd love to find. 
Oh no, we get a, uh, a blue Roger Dodger. Oh, I'm happy with that. Really nice, it's got the white stripes over the roof. It's got a bit of silver on the rear there. Number six on the side. And oh, try and get a little bit of viewing on that. Can't really get a good angle of that because it's, it's pretty small. Oh, yeah, it's got the engine poking out of the front there. Very, very nice. And the last one, the last one. Oh, this one here is actually taped up properly by the field. Oh, no, it's not. I thought this was taped up properly. You always got to be careful when you buy these blind boxes that the inside hasn't already been opened. So, the risk you take with blind packs. Come on, black and gold. No, it's another one of these. So, another person will be getting a, a little uh, twin milk earring. So yeah, there we go. We've got two twin milk earrings to add into the prize boxes as little bonuses. Now, I've also got a few other random items to throw into it as well. So you won't know what they're gonna be unless you enter the competition and win. So go to the 2000 subscriber competition video and make sure you enter on that video. I'll also put a reminder into the community section on the channel. So. Hopefully that'll pop up on your feed as well to remind everybody. And yeah, good luck guys, because there's gonna be a lot of kind of random stuff thrown in with those other prizes because yeah, <laughs> I think that you guys deserve it. You've supported me for so long now. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of bonuses. Maybe I'll even throw in some Australia memorabilia souvenirs just for those guys that are overseas, uh, just for the fun of it. And that's gonna bring us to the end of another episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to go and enter the competition if you haven't already. And good luck to everybody. All right, there we go. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to take care of yourselves. And until next video, yeah. And I find something awesome and just put it into the collection. You don't need to open anything. Just find something awesome to add into your collection just to be like, yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. I like looking at that. So that's my, my little bit of a of hopeful hopeful uh hopefulness for you guys to find something awesome and until next week take care of yourselves and i'll see you all then bye guys